What is up folks and welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out Madhouse Coffee here in Las Vegas on Desert Inn. There's two locations. This is the one on Desert Inn across the street from Desert Breeze Park. This place has phenomenal food, drinks, the service, everything about this place is a gem. And there's a reason this place has been around 18 years, right? Correct. This is their green goddess. Green Goddess. Matcha tea. And let's go check out what we got on the table right let's now. Let's do it. cappuccino we have chocolate song we have all kinds of stuff here i don't even know what to try first but let's see what this is like mm. oh there's so many flavors that are kicking in the caramel is cinnamon the froth itself the cappuccino is delicious guys damn <laughs> The perfect amount of sweetness. Not over the top chocolatey. This thing, perfectly sweet and not over the top. Got enough pastry. Look at the layers of that thing. Super flaky. I mean, powdered sugar for the sweetness on top of it. Let's try this croissant. Let's see what the croissant's all about. So that one's got a sweet feeling inside. Super delicious. I know which one I like better, but I'm gonna see which one Wifey likes better because she's a chocolate fan. But that one might, I don't know. Let, let's, let's see what you think. My turn, taste test. Like you said, light, flaky, a little bit of sweet, but not over the top. Yeah makes you want to keep eating more yes and the layers of the actual yes. croissant make you want to just keep going in yes yeah but as you can see not over the top with chocolate no, just enough yeah. just enough just enough of it is and the right amount of sweetness yes. with just enough powdered sugar yeah all right nailed it all right okay now yeah. the croissant croissant the croissant is thicker yeah so you're getting more bread yeah and it's a little sweeter as you can see, a little bit thicker, still nice amount of powdered sugar on the top. So just more filling. But if you got a tiny bit of a sweet tooth. You like that one? I think I like oh, this one. This one's, this one's really good I though. Like the I don't know. Yeah, I like the croissant. I'm going to give them both 10 out of 10 because they're both really good. I could eat either yeah, one. You can't go wrong with either one. I can eat either one. So as you can tell, super fluffy, multiple layers, airy. I mean over the top, delicious. Doesn't matter which one you get, they're both gonna be very, very good. All right, mind you guys, I drink regular coffee. So this is already way over the top for me when it comes to trying more stuff. The cappuccino, like I said, delicious. The caramel, the cinnamon, you can taste it all. Red velvet, it's my favorite kind of cake. Why not, let's try it. I know, and I know. My facial expressions are always like, God damn, or get out of here, right? This is way better. This is super sweet. You can taste the coffee. Kelly, you have to try this because <laughs> I know you're not the biggest coffee fan, but it's sweet to where you might actually enjoy it. It's a hot coffee. Really, I, I think this one I prefer over this one. And I didn't even think I was gonna be trying this coffee today. But I'll tell you what, I like regular coffee. This right here, I could drink. I don't need to add sugar, don't need to add cream, none of that stuff. That's what's really good about these is you drink them the way they come because they're designed that way and perfectly built to satisfy you. 
amazing. Madhouse, you guys are doing some amazing stuff here. None of this is sponsored. None of this is paid. We don't own... We don't have any kind of deal with these people. We just had them on our podcast. Figured, hey, come down here while we're in town and show you guys some of these unique eats. And if you haven't, go check out the episode where we talk to these folks here. And they go through a full rundown of the menu and some quality specialty items they have on the menu that you might be aware of, which we'll get to in a second. But right now, I can tell you, this is probably the best coffee I've had ever. Ever, hands down, ever. All right, here goes. It doesn't taste like warm and delicious. It has a hint of sweet in it. This is a non-coffee drinker, guys. This is a this non- This doesn't taste like Yeah, coffee. it doesn't taste like a coffee, which is nice. And Julian's absolutely right. It tastes like a hot frap. Yes. Yes. I could do this. Yeah. I could do this. It is. It's really <laughs> delicious. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Yeah, it's really, really good. It's really good. Yeah, Guys, this is the red velvet. Do yourself a favor. Red velvet here at Madhouse. Oh, my God. Get you one because you can't have mine. Hey, I said give me my coffee back. So this is the Madhouse matcha drink here, and I tried it already. Kelly, what do you think? It's really good. What it tastes like? It's like refreshing, but sweet, but not overly sweet. Like yeah, you yeah. can get in like some fraps. Yeah. And I'm not a tea drinker or a matcha drinker at all. So this is my first time trying matcha or anything to do with it. This is really good. It's really refreshing. Again, my wife, picky when it comes oh, to I'm food and drinks. Yeah, That's and this really is really good. good. Yeah, good. Glad you enjoy it. Madhouse coffee, guys. I can't express it enough. Look at this food. Look at everything they brought for us to check out and try. This is their avocado toast. Ooh. Red velvet. That's ridiculous. Go straight in. Let's see what you get. Mm. So what do you think, Levy? If I had to imagine heaven, this would be pretty darn close. It is so delicious. Okay. Oh, <laughs> all right, so this is the avocado toast. Kelly gave it a shot. My turn. Let's see what this is all about. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of seasoning on here. It looks like there's a little oil glaze on here as well. This little red sauce right here is a little kick. But the bread, super fresh, flaky. The salt from the seasoning with the mixture of the avocado feels the salt spreads on the bread it's perfect it's perfect and you're not getting you know most places you go and you get one piece cut in half this is two whole pieces this is an order right every time freaking delicious i can't emphasize it enough you want to start your day off right you got to come visit this place hands down delicious way to start the day all righty so kelly taste test time have yourself a monster cock on me it's the only time I'm gonna let you try it. I'm not. Don't I'm not jealous. furious at all whatsoever. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it PG 13, oh okay? okay? I'm not gonna. <laughs> You're gonna break it? Don't break it. <laughs> it feels pornographic. <laughs> Just the tip. Just the tip. Really? <laughs> so it looks to be chocolate all the way through. You need a chocolate fix, the you know. Feeling on the outside. You need a chocolate fix, or you're just hating your man. Ouch! Ouch! Mm. Ouch! <laughs> How's the chocolate though? Is the chocolate good? Good. Yeah. Good. I'm not trying that one. Chocolate. <laughs> it's a lot of chocolate. Yeah. Of chocolate. So get yourself a friend if you're a fan of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Come have yourself a chocolate cock. This is the monster size. There's also tiny size. And decent size. <laughs> Alrighty, taste test. I'm not doing the other one, but I'll try some booty pop. And see what it's like. Go straight for it. You know where I'm going. Let me just say, the chocolate is really rich, 
but inside is my favorite already pumpkin bread oh yeah so i'm already a fan of this but they have different versions they do but because it's seasonal i believe this one's pumpkin they do different versions this is really good look at the thickness of the chocolate itself there's a good amount of chocolate obviously you saw the other one a lot in there but these damn good damn good and again funny gag for a friend or anything like that you wanted to show up to a party with these things they do them here every single day they make them fresh they have them all the time again another reason to come check this out but we're not done yet we got another thing that they bring to the table i showed you the mushroom gummies and some of the different uh, edibles they have here. We're gonna show you another aspect that they bring to the table here at Madhouse Coffee. All right, so here at Madhouse, they also offer hookah. If you're coming out here with some friends and you wanna try a hookah, hookah is a form of tobacco that you can come and enjoy. It put They put hot coals on top, tobacco's inside. It's called sashi or sisha. And this stuff right here, just relaxing, mellow, it's not too harsh on you. Again, there's a lot of hookah bars around town. This is not solely specializing in hookah, but it's another option they bring to the table. Just like the fun booty pops and the monster cock and all that stuff, they bring hookah to the table. This tastes like great. If this place is not the epitome of multiple facets of reasons to visit, plenty of options and things to take part in. If you're, in, if you're interested in coffee or just good breakfast, a good way to start the day, Maybe you want to come down, do some buka, try some sweets, or just get something quick and grab and go. Give this place a shot, check them out. The service, the staff is over the top nice. I can't recommend it enough. And again, anything I do here in town, nothing's paid. I'm here looking out for you to find unique places to visit on your next trip. Add Madhouse Coffee to that list, because it's up there. They're definitely doing something unique with all the different stuff they bring to the table. And friends, if you enjoyed this video, if you found something new to check out in Vegas, do me a huge favor. Hit that red button because we've got plenty of more videos coming out for you guys. We're going to be doing interviews and we got a bunch of places we're going to be trying out food-wise coming up down the road. So stay tuned, click on another video, and we will catch you in the next one. Cheers! And not to forget to mention, i got to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of the Patreon members and supporters of the podcast and YouTube channel here, folks throwing you guys on the screen because you guys are the shiznit. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers!